a happy new year to all our listeners wish you all lots of success and good luck in the coming months as we begin the new year we will talk about the best performances from last year because that is what icc is doing icc has recently announced the nominees for the best women cricketers in each category the results of which will be announced shortly today i shall only tell you all who the nominees are for each category here we go icc women's cricketer of the year 2021 we have tammy bowman from england lizelle less from south africa smriti mandana from india and gabby lewis ireland next we have the icc t20 player of the year 2021 the nominees of which are tammy bowman england smriti mandana india gabby lewis ireland and natalie seaver england last we have the icc odi player of the year 2021 Again we have Tammy Bowman from England, Lizelle Lee South Africa, Hayley Matthews West Indies and Fatima Sana Pakistan. Yes, you heard it right. Tammy Bowman has been nominated in all three categories. A rightly deserved recognition we must say. As for who wins what, I shall discuss that next week. Bisma Maroof has returned to international cricket after maternity leave. Bisma Maroof will be available for the selection of the ICC Women's World Cup 2022. Maroof last played international cricket when she led Pakistan in the T20 World Cup in March 2020. She then announced her maternity leave in April 2021 and gave birth to a baby girl in August that year. The Pakistan Cricket Board brought the maternity clause in their tender contract after Maroof announced her pregnancy and she became the first beneficiary of it. According to the board, the left-handed batter has already begun her cricketing activities and resume fitness sessions ahead of the warm-up matches which will be held in Karachi for the selection of the World Cup squad. Pakistan will name their World Cup squad on January 25th, so all of Maroof's preps seem to have begun in good time. Scotland announces a 14-member squad for the Commonwealth Games. Cricket Scotland has announced a 14-member squad which will be travelling to Malaysia for the Commonwealth qualifiers starting January 18th. The tournament will be played in a round robin format with the table toppers joining the seven teams who have already booked their spots for the main event which will be played in Birmingham later this year. A few months ago, Scotland topped the ICC Women's T20 World Cup European qualifiers, winning all their matches on the way including a match against Ireland. Now in Malaysia, Scotland will be up against Bangladesh, Kenya, Malaysia and Sri Lanka. I aspire to be the fastest bowler in the world says Fatima Sana. A little about Sana as she recently said in an interview that she wishes to be the fastest bowler in the world. The right arm pacer has picked up 20 wickets in 13 matches at an average of close to 25 including a 5 wicket haul against West Indies away from home. Sana's heart lies in fast bowling. But she understands what her head coach David Hemp has to say about multiple skills, which is why she has started batting under his assistance and over time has developed interest for batting. Now she wishes to serve her team as an all-rounder. Such a young girl and so much talent and persistence. Surely she's going to reach great heights. The Super Smash New Zealand wrap up. Last I have a quick update about the Super Smash that is happening in New Zealand. It was a celebratory day last weekend for the Canterbury Magicians captain Frances Mackay as she played her 100th T20 for the team and she won it against the Central Hints. Thanks to a collective effort from the Magicians and a late swift hitting of 25 not out by Lee Tahuhu. Hannah Rowe's patient knock of 39 went in vain as the Hints could not defend a total of 112. On the other hand, Otago Sparks unbeaten run in the Super Smash came to an end as they were beaten by the Wellington Blaze by a margin of 66 runs. The Kerr sisters start once again for Blaze with brilliant performances with the bat and the bowl. Amelia scored a fantastic 56 while Jess and Casperic picked up two wickets each. With this win team Wellington Blaze extended unbeaten run of 5 wins in one row. That was a quick update from last week. I will be back next week with some more interesting and exciting news. Hope you all enjoy the first week of the new year. Remember to mask up, stay safe and be happy.